Hello and welcome to the channel Love Obstetrics and Gynecology. This video is regarding the oxytocin augmentation protocols. So under 5 minutes you will learn what is the difference between induction and augmentation of labor. What are the indications for the induction of labor? What all is required for augmentation of labor? And how to monitor a patient being on induction or augmentation of labor? The video content is as per the WHO and the Government of India guidelines. The definitions first. The induction of labor means you want to stimulate the uterus to contract for the first time to begin the labor. And augmentation of labor means that the uterus is already having contractions and you want to increase the frequency, duration or strength of the contractions. For induction or augmentation of labor, you need to do a cervical assessment by the Bishop scoring. And if the Bishop score is less than 5, you go for cervical priming either with the Dinoprost gel or Mesoprostol. And in case the Bishop is more than 5, you proceed directly with the oxytocin augmentation. As per GOI, there are few maternal and the fetal indications for the induction of labor, but there should be no unnecessary induction of labor in an uncomplicated pregnancy that is less than 41 weeks. In this picture, you can see that in a good resource setting, you require a oxytocin infusion pump and for the maternal and fetal monitoring, a CTG machine. But this video is only for the low resource settings where you have only a D5 or NS portal in which you can put a oxytocin and you can set a drop rate which is directly connected to the patient and you do a manual monitoring of the maternal and the fetal. Now this is an oxytocin infusion table. Now the starting dose will be 2.5 international units and you put those in a 500 ml NS or a D5 and which means that there are 25500 milli international units in a 500 ml NS and per ml it will contain 5 milli international units. Now 1 ml usually is equal to 20 drops. The next below you can see is the chart. So you start with 2.5 international units of oxytocin in a 500 ml NS drip and you start with 10 drops per minute right so these 10 drops will contain around 2.5 milli international unit right this is 2.5 milli international unit these 10 drops next you augment after 30 minutes to 5 milli international unit you go from 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 to again 60 drops and after every 30 minutes and this is how your dose keeps on increasing the next you go for is after two and a half hours this bottle will be over the next you come to is five international units in a 500 ml ns or d5 but you don't start with 10 drop you start with 30 drop direct see the maximum that you have reached with 2.5 international unit was 15 milli international unit and you don't want to decrease the dose so five units in a 500 ml ns and started at 30 drops per minute that means 50 milli international unit and then you go for 30 drops 50 drops 60 drops the next step that comes up is 10 international units in a 500 ml ns and again you start it at 30 drops per minute and next is 40 drops 50 drops and 60 drops your maximum that you give is 60 milli international units per minute so in that case where you give 60 milli international unit per ml and the good uterine contractions are not there, you go for a cesarean section instead, right? In a case of a multigravida patient or a prior cesarean section, you do not go beyond the 20 milli international unit per ml. That is you do not add the 10 international unit to a 500 ml NS or D5, right? You do not go for this 10 international unit. Instead, 5 international unit in a 500 ml drip and at a drop rate of 40 drops is the maximum where you can have is this 20 milli international unit. Also, the monitoring of patient on induction is very important. Both the maternal as well as the fetal monitoring is important and you measure maternal BP, pulse, uterine contraction and for the fetus, fetal heart. And how frequent these monitoring should be done? In first stage, every 30 minutes and in second stage, every 15 minutes. If you liked my video, please do like, subscribe and share the channel Love Obstetrics and Gynecology. Thank you.